Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. So Regis Prograis successfully makes his return to the ring after a defeat to Josh Taylor last October. Regis Prograis knocked out Juan Herraldez in three rounds in what was a dominant performance by the former champion Regis Prograis. Regis Prograis is one of my favourite fighters in boxing. If I were to draw up a top 10 list of my favourite fighters, Prograis would definitely be in there. And it was good to see him back in the ring. Um, it's been a while, obviously last, for, uh, last October against Josh Taylor. Been out of the ring for a year and I felt he looked quite good in this fight, knocking out Juan Heraldez in the third round. In the first round, Regis Prograis didn't take long to assert his dominance. He looked very confident from the offset, and in the first round, he was actually catching Geraldes with some nice left hands. He was landing that left hand from the southpaw stance to body and head, and he certainly felt those shots, particularly the body shots. So yeah, good first round by Regis Prograis. Now the second round was more uneventful. Not too much happened to be honest, but Prograis was the guy again who was looking in control. Uh, he was the guy who was a bit more active and looking more dangerous. And round three was where this fight ended. Once again, Regis Prograis' left hand was the key. Um, he landed a couple of good left hands to the body and then come up with a left hook, which dropped Geraldes. One Geraldes did beat the count, but Prograis basically jumped on him, swarmed him, landed a few shots, and the referee jumped in to wave it off. And um, yeah, Prograis had no problems at all in this fight. I guess that was rather predictable. I mean, Juan Geraldo is not really a top fighter, but he came in there unbeaten, but ultimately he wasn't good enough. And in my opinion, Regis Prograis looked pretty good, pretty dangerous and pretty powerful. So all in all, a good performance by Regis Prograis. Hopefully we see him back in the ring early next year against a top opponent. Now, whether he's going to campaign at £140 or or 147, I've not got a clue. This fight was actually scheduled for 140, but I believe Prograis missed weight by like over a pound. So, is he struggling with 140? Is that just due to the time out of a ring and lockdown? Maybe that's the reason why he missed weight, but me personally, I would still like to see Prograis hang around at 140. There are still some good fights for him. I would still like to see a rematch with Josh Taylor, to be honest. That first fight was great. I felt Taylor just about nicked it. But it was a very close fight, which in my opinion, um, could deserve a rematch, you know. So I would like to see Prograis stick around at 140. Maybe he could fight Mario Barrios, who's obviously with the PBC. He's a 140-pounder, got the WBA regular belt. That could be a good fight for Prograis. If he wants to go to welterweight, listen, I'll be interested. Um, but I'm not quite sure whether he's big enough for the welterweight division. He's not a massive guy, so yeah, a lot of these welterweights would have physical advantages over him. Um, but, you know, Prograis certainly has skill, he certainly has power, so who knows, maybe he could be a success at welterweight. If he does go to welterweight, I would like to see him bed into the weight class first, before he fights for a title. You know, fight guys like Jose Lopez, someone along those lines, to see how he looks at that weight class. But, um, yeah, the future is bright for Regis Prograis. I still think this guy's a very good fighter, uh, offensively very talented, uh, that left hand is a lethal weapon. And yeah, I like Regis Prograis. So good to see him back. He looked good. He did the job. We'll see where he goes next. Share your thoughts below. Peace.